Good morning. Today is Wednesday, May 12th. For lunch today, there's crispy chicken sandwich with golden french fries or honey mustard ham wrap or cheese or sausage pizza. Today is a B-Day for everybody in the building. During 6-8 gym recess, the Boys and Girls Club option is available for Ms. Brooks and Ms. Laner's classes. And we've got two birthdays. Happy birthday to Owen Dunkmeyer in the 5th grade and to Kiara Hale in the 6th grade. Have a great day! Hey everybody! So today I'd like to introduce you to an artist by the name of Bradley Hart. Now, some artists do sculpture, some artists do painting. He does some rather interesting medium, bubble wrap. Check it out. This painting is made entirely out of bubble wrap. Those small pockets of air you puncture with your thumbs to hear that satisfying. One of the funniest things is people love to do this and pop bubbles and it is the one sound that drives me nuts. Well, because bubble wrap is precious to me. This is Bradley Hart. It's true, bubble wrap is precious to him. It's literally his canvas. He's a New York-based artist who transforms bubble wrap into pixelated masterworks of art. But the idea of using bubble wrap as a wall covering isn't new. Bubble wrap was invented in 1957, originally intended to be used as wallpaper, but it didn't catch on. It was after researching the, actually the history of bubble wrap and realizing that it was meant to be wallpaper, um, that brought me around to this great idea that, well, ostensibly, what is a painting short of the cultural significance and historical value it may gain over time? It's ostensibly a wall covering. So this is a work in progress right now that I'm doing for Art Miami. It's Seurat's Le Grand Chat. It's a little vignette scene from the actual bigger painting. The painstaking process starts even before Bradley touches the canvas. So it takes me roughly about four to five days to preload the 1800 to 2500 syringes that I need per painting. This is his palette. Color placement is planned using a top-secret, custom-made computer algorithm. Each bubble is injected individually with acrylic paint. As the paint is injected into a bubble, the access drips down the back of the piece. The process creates two different paintings, the injection painting and the impression painting. The impression painting is created from the paint that drips from the bubbles down the back of the piece. The drippings are surgically removed from the backside of the plastic to reveal an impression of the work. It takes anywhere from three weeks to a month for Bradley to complete a painting. It's just like this kind of quintessential dumb material that I love to use so much. Now the thing I find most fascinating about this video is the fact that he's able to get two different paintings for the work he's putting into one. So on the one hand, he has the very crisp, clean little points that are in all the bubble wraps and gets the clean picture, but then he gets an impressionistic one where all of the ones are fading down. There are different ideas, but there really are two different works of art. So that got me thinking about what areas of our lives do we put effort into one area but get benefits somewhere else? So for today's challenge, I'd like you to think about what are the areas in your life where you put effort and interest into something and get a benefit somewhere else? 
Maybe, for example, if you love to read books, that helps you in school by increasing your vocabulary and helping you come up with ideas. Maybe if you're involved in team sports, the ability to work hard and set goals for yourself pay off in areas of work and school. Maybe if you love animals and take care of your pets, that helps you be kinder in taking care of other people. I don't know what it is, we're all different. But for today, think about what you're good at in one area that transfers over to somewhere else. All right, you take care.